hello everyone thank you for tuning in to this recipe i'll be showing you how to make fried meat pies it's going to be one of the best meat pies you've ever had i am rosie you are welcome to my kitchen for the ingredients i'll be using sweet peppers spring onions onions carrots garlic and i have everything nicely clean and cut already i will season with thyme dried pepper season powder salt to taste over here is the beef and i'm going to be cutting this beef by myself and i'll be right back so once the beef is nicely cut, I'll transfer it inside the food processor and I'm going to be processing the beef by myself. However, you can buy the one that is already processed from the store that is good as well. And that is done. In a pot, I will add in about three tablespoons of avocado oil. And once the oil is hot, I'll transfer the minced meat in there and stir cook the meat until the meat is no longer pink. I will add the chopped onions, garlic, teaspoon of thyme, teaspoon of dried pepper, teaspoon of seasoned powder, add salt, diced carrots, and stir. If you are using potatoes, you can add the potatoes at this point. Add some water to it. Cover and leave it to cook for about 10 minutes. In a bowl, I will add two tablespoons of flour, add water, mix it until it's well dissolved, and this will be used as thickener for the pie filling. You can also use cornstarch as well. I will add the thickener to the filling, and the thickener is going to keep the filling to be very moist. And I will stir. Add the sweet peppers. Feel free to adjust any of the ingredients I use in this video. And stir. I will cover and leave it for five minutes. And five minutes later, I will finish it up with the spring onions. Stir till everything is nicely combined. And this filling is very moist and it tastes so delicious. You can even eat rice with this. And at this point, it's ready. And transfer it to a bowl. Leave it to cool down completely before working with it. In a large bowl, I will measure in 6 cups of all-purpose flour. Teaspoon of salt. Mix them together. And that is done i'll be using two egg yolks you can use a whole eggs as well and eight tablespoons of margarine you can use butter as well and i have the margarine melted and i will add that inside the dry ingredients you can use it at room temperature but it doesn't need to be cold 
add the egg yolks add water gradually until you get a dough and mix it so for fried meat pie you use less mandarin if you're using butter you use less you don't use as much as you will use when you're going to bake it because we're going to be frying them anyway so i'll take out the spatula and i'll work with my clean hands so this is what the dough looks like and i'm going to leave the dough to rest i'll wrap it with a clean thing i'm going to be putting it in the refrigerator however you can leave it on top of the counter for about 20 to 30 minutes in a pot i will add in oil for the frying and i will start heating up the oil and this is 30 minutes later And then I'll just knead the dough to bring it together. And the pie dough doesn't need to be over knit. I'll divide the dough into two. And keep the other half and work with the other half. Flour the work surface. And roll out the dough. So I'm going to be rolling the dough to be very thin. It's going to be thinner than the one I will normally bake. I'll use a pie cutter to cut the dough. You can use any round cutter or you can make it any shape of your choice as well. And that is what the, the cut dough looks like, like so. And then I'll put them aside. And I'll be re-rolling out this dough. I'll repeat this process until all the doughs are rolled out. I will add about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of the pie filling to the cut dough and seal it i will use my fingers to seal it very well and i will seal it with a fork as well to prevent it from opening inside the oil like so and i'll put that aside and I'll be repeating this process until I am done. And that is done so once i have enough batch to start frying i will start frying and then while i'm frying i will continue with the rest so i'll drop a piece of the dough inside the oil and once the dough comes up then the oil is hot and add the pies and then fry on medium to high heat it doesn't need to be too low if you fry it on a low heat it's going to absorb all the oil so i am frying on medium to high heat for example the highest of my stove is 10 i am frying on eight stir it and i will take out the example and fry until they are about golden brown 
So stir it from time to time. And once they are nicely fried, take them out of the oil, transfer them to a paper towel to drain out any excess oil. And I'll repeat this process until I am done with all of the badge I'll be frying. And the second method, I'll be using a fryer. I will spray the train with some spray oil and add the pies in there. And I'll also spray the pies as well. And this will prevent them from coming out too dry. And I will air fry them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes until they are ready. 20 minutes later, the air fried ones are ready as well and this is what it looks like and it smells amazing so if you're trying to cut some fat this is the one for you and the meat pies are ready allow them to cool down before serving this smells amazing and they tasted super super delicious here is the air fried one it was very crispy and moist inside it it tasted so delicious you won't even tell the difference between this and the one that was deep fried and here is the fried ones they tasted so delicious and this will be the best meat pies you've ever had thank you all so much for watching Remain blessed. I will see you in my next video. Bye.